checking out Higgins Beach this morning. Looks like it's low tide. I wondered if we might see some surfers out there, but yeah. not right now. Plenty of room for a walk. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring the dog out early this morning. Yeah, nice morning for it. Definitely. And this afternoon will be pretty nice too, Sam, but yeah. we will have to dodge a couple of showers much like the last couple of days. So we're getting used to that. Yeah, we really are. Actually, <laughs> it seems like every single day we've had a few showers out there over the last week. Hey, everybody. Glad to have you with us on a Sunday morning. Uh, there's really no big weather system around. No big area of high pressure that could clear us out, but also no strong front. So really, for no rhyme or reason, we have some clouds passing through this morning and actually a couple of very light sprinkles in spots. Some working through Lewiston, Auburn and the Brunswick area, a couple of others up around Dexter and Dover Foxcroft, but very light stuff. You can actually see on the satellite imagery that we have this strip of clouds coming through now, but back in New Hampshire, sure there are some brighter skies, so we'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds as we go through the day today. 51 right now in Bangor. It's 50 in Lewiston and 54 degrees in Portland. High temperatures today will get hit the 70 degree mark in many spots. Uh, 75 in Sanford, 76 in Berwick. That's likely the warmest spot in the state. Now along the south coast, I think we get close to 70 and then around 1230, 1 o'clock, the sea breeze will kick in. So this afternoon, temperatures at the coastline will be dropping down to the 60s, much like yesterday. We'll have a chillier feel there. Inland though, lower 70s, considering the average high is in the mid 60s. Pretty nice for the middle of May. 72 degrees in Bangor, 63 though in Southwest Harbor and 65 degrees in Rockland. That sea breeze is a little bit more pronounced there. And you see some drops here inland. There will be some scattered showers developing this afternoon anytime after about noontime. And any of these showers could actually briefly form into a thunderstorm with a rumble or two of thunder. Not expecting anything severe, but if you do have outdoor plans this afternoon, just have a way to get inside. These will last 15, 20 minutes and then move on to the next town. And some places will stay dry all day long today. The highest chance for these showers will be farther inland. They'll uh, start to diminish as the sun sets this evening, and then tonight we're down into the 40s. Tomorrow morning, most of us start with some sunshine. Could be a little bit of fog from Rockland to Bar Harbor in the morning. And then tomorrow, there's a somewhat stronger sea breeze, but that will keep most of the showers inland tomorrow afternoon. So again, another chance for a pop-up shower in the afternoon, but with temperatures only in the 60s and a southeast wind tomorrow at the coast, I think more of those showers will wind up being inland. One more chance of a few showers that comes on Tuesday and the highest chance for those will be in central and northern Maine. After that front comes through, the pattern starts to change up in a pretty big way for the middle and end of the week. Big ridge of high pressure working north and it looks like we will warm up in a pretty big way as well. The last few days we've had temperatures above average. Today we're above average, but look at this. By the middle of the week, we could be talking 80s on Thursday. At this point, the only question I have is how long and how sustained may this summer warmth be? I think we get at least a day or two, but it could last longer than that if everything works out perfectly. Seas around two feet today with a westerly wind, five knots becoming southerly this afternoon. So here's your inland seven day forecast and every day actually the inland temperatures are somewhat warmer than the coastal temperatures. You especially see that middle to end of the week. We could be around 80 beginning Wednesday and possibly staying there inland through Saturday. Just depends on exactly when the front comes down and brings an end to the warmth. Along the coastline, I think Thursday may be the warmest day of this stretch, but even Friday and Saturday we got a shot. We'll see how it pans out. That's my forecast for now. Have a great Sunday, everyone.